Take like all the time and plus it rhyme. It's a fight, fight. Guys, episode 14, money, something we all need, some of us crave for every day, others of us, we just don't care. But that's beside the point. I just kind of wanted to say I hope you're all having a blessed day, staying true to yourself. Um, remember that nobody else is going to achieve the goals that you want except for you. Um, but again, I just kind of want to say my name. My name is Marco Seabrook. Welcome to Rise of Elevate podcast, uh, episode 14. It's only getting crazier. I'm excited. My energy is unmatched right now. I got my buddy right here, MW, not Mom Warfare, Ma Michael Wilson, baby. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let him introduce you, uh, let him introduce himself. What's your name, buddy? Oh, my name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as has already been said, my name is Michael Wilson. I'm a guy. I like money, He's just like everybody else. Right. So, uh, I came to talk about it. No, that's what's up, man. I like to hear Let me get my handy-dandy notebook. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to start off the episode by saying how I've been. I've been great. I've been growing. I've been challenging myself every day. I'm um, learning that there's trial and error. Every single day that you walk this planet, there's going to be challenges that approach you. Whether, you know, sometimes you, you pass the challenge or sometimes you fail. But learn to embrace the failures. Learn that the failures, on, failures only make you stronger. And that, like... Is quit dwelling on it. Like, I feel like some of us, we, we fail and, like, we feel like that's it. We can't achieve these goals no more. Or, like, that's, you know, that's our life. But, no, you have to bounce back, take 10 steps back, and literally just attack. You know, or what is it? Uh, take, take a few steps back, analyze, and attack. You know, um, so that's the big thing, and that's what I've been going through as a person. Uh, I've been working on the interviews and stuff. Um, you know, I'm OCD about the way I do things. So when things don't click the right way, I just kind of like eh, do a little travel with the ball and just go back and just don't stop. You know what I'm talking about? I'm probably not. My dog don't be balling like how we used to ball. And then we went camping this weekend. That was fun. Shout out to my family. We were balling out there. It was hot. It felt like the desert out there. We were out in Allendale, South Carolina, if you're from Charleston. Um, it was great. Shout out to them. I just had to do a little side thing right there. Um, but yeah, what's next is really a lot of things, man. I'm starting this Rise Elevate gaming and kind of just like getting things started. I'm about to try and do some shoe stuff and get my LLC to get things cracking and just get more comfortable and get Rise to Elevate on the platform that it should be so I can make a bigger impacts on kids and, you know, my friends that I've been meeting along the way and let them know that they're not alone in that, like, I'm that, I'm the dude who collects diamonds that are in the dirt, you know, like I go literally look for diamonds and I dig as deep as I can and when I find them, I polish them. And that's what I'm doing now with a whole bunch of different people. Um, only my woke people will, will know what I'm talking about there, but you know, it, the energy is unmatched. I'm, I can't even like, I'm shaking because I've just been waiting so long to get in front of a camera um, just to talk about this. But yeah, what's next though after that, uh, I wanted to kind of say shout out to Young Deji. I finally got my box. I'm so happy right now. I've been waiting so long. Um, let me just, I know that we're doing my topic and stuff in the episode, but I kind of wanted to do a backdrop story on this real quick and kind of elaborate what happened and uh, tell people the story. But again, um, my, my favorite artist, Young Deji, was uh, posting a story on Instagram and it was like basically if you want some shirts and stuff like that, like hit me up and I got a shirt and you know, I got a little, <laughs> little razzle dazzle, extra little sauce, of, you know, like the cherry on top of the Sunday mm. um, with mm. the shirt. So we're just gonna open it. I wanted to open it on camera and just wanted to say thank you because I'm gonna send this to you. Um, you're a big inspiration to me. I listen to your music every single day. There's never a day. If anybody knows me, and I want him to listen to this while I'm opening this. If anybody knows me and you never heard me play Young Deji, you ain't a real, you ain't, you ain't my friend. But, and then the other thing I wanted to say while I open this, if ain't, if any, if nobody's going to buy the Enjoy shirts, I will, because you won't, I will, since they don't know, bruh. But again, sorry, I just got carried away. 
I, I really look up the dude. He's a really cool dude. Um, if you haven't already, look him up. He got an album coming out soon. I normally don't be promoting people's music on my stuff, but like that's a big inspiration to me. So, but we got him, baby. We got him. We got him. That's my sheet. That's my. And then we got the other one right here. Shout out to him. Got the other one with that signature. Quit playing. It's what we do. I should have put it on now, but I ain't gonna do it. I told him I was gonna frame it. But again, shout out to him, man. I've been waiting for this shirt for about a week now. I'm excited. Like, I can't believe, like, I got a whole bunch of autographs just rallied up. But let's get to the main objective. I just had to shed some light on that because I've been waiting so long to do that. But thank you, Michael, for being patient. He's probably like, what the fuck is going on oh, right no, now? No, no. Like, who, is, who is this fanboy? No, I expected it. <laughs> Get a little tense in it. here, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, you know, I'm just excited, man. A lot of things happening. We're going to the Wiz concert in August 11th, so it's going to be fun um, doing the meet and greet and meet and Wiz. That, that's going to be, like, the biggest thing for uh, that trip. But um, I wanted to say one more thing before we start the question of the week. Uh, I wanted to start doing something different. Shout out to Nick Tinley. Um, I, I don't be trying to put people's names out there, but he really gave me some uh, light on a situ on a, on a, what is it? Like a proposition on what I should do in my videos. And I kind of, I liked it. I liked the idea. I loved the, the thought of it and stuff. So I kind of wanted to go over it. But it's the... Uh, DM me situations that y'all feel like y'all would need help a lot, like uh, learning or how should I say it? Um, if you need help uh, achieving things like moral wise, like uh, communications and how to treat others with respect and stuff like that, um, I can help. I didn't really know how to word it. That's what I was thinking about. You want to make videos to help people get through basic things right, in life that they may right. not know how to articulate. How to art? Yeah, there we go. See, and that's what I'm here to do. So if you have any like questions that you want to ask me, like on you know what he just said, yeah, I know I'm, I should know this, but it's okay because I'm learning it too. I didn't. I thought it was a wonderful idea, and I would love to answer people's questions. So if you have any questions, even the people on TikTok. If you have any questions and you you know you just need help with something mentally, physically, or whatever, I'm here to help. That is my duty. That's MW's duty, not my warfare. Shout out to them because they're coming out. You heard about that? Yeah, I didn't. You don't play I stopped games. playing those. I stopped playing them. My hey. dog don't play games, bro. No, 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 no. Not oh, those. you play like Rust and stuff? Nah. What? Like Horizon? Ooh. Oh, the racing? No, 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 no. You think of Forza. Horizon. Yeah. <laughs> Horizon, Horizon Zero Forza. Dawn. And then the new one that just came out, Forbidden West. Oh, so single player yeah, games. Single player games. Okay, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Hey, Rise of Elven Gaming, guys, is coming up. I'm going to be streaming stuff. Like, you know, just look it up. And you'll see what I'm trying to do. My whole, my whole gist with that. It's like a platform for people to share their clips, their highlights. Um, especially my streamers. I want them to have a platform to be able to post where, what time they're streaming and all that. So a lot of things happening. So if y'all, back to what we were saying earlier though, if you have any like situations or like, what would you say? What's the better way to word it? Like. Questions? Yeah, but questions on like what? It, life on questions. what? Like that's life the Life questions. Thing. If you have any questions, write down below in the YouTube video and uh, I'll answer the next video and I'll write down your username and you'll see it and everything. So. Please give me some. I kind of want to hear what y'all got to think. Even if you got any questions about who I am as a person or who MW is. If you want to know the abbreviations, you got to watch the beginning of the video. But, yeah, you know. Let's get to the question of the week. Do you remember the question of the week? Mm, no. No. My dog. My, I have a terrible You got memory. them jitters. It's no, 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 no. I just have a really bad memory. No, that's all good. What we'll do it. It's do you believe money is the root of all evil? Oh. And that was where me and him See, were talking about it like, ah, you know, he thinks that it isn't and I think that it is. And, you know, I'll let him get his little shine because, you know, I've been blabbering all the whole flipping 10 minutes probably we've been doing this. Well, maybe that's but, why I forgot. Yo, know, that's... Ah! I, don't, I know facts. I don't. I don't really think it's the root of all evil. No, I think no. it is the the most associated with being as close to the root of all evil as it can possibly get. But 
it's not. It's just we didn't always have money. Right. We didn't always have currency. We had services, and then people got greedy. Right. And then they made something that they couldn't, like you know, kill. Yeah, but to the extent, if you really think about it, like let's say if I give you twenty dollars for free, right, yeah. and you were getting it on a daily, monthly basis, there would be a point where you would start to look at me differently when when I stop. I almost beat my thing up. You would look at me differently when I stop giving you that money. You know what I'm saying? Because you'd be like, that's my source of money. So therefore, your me and your friendship would change because money is the root of evil, bro. I'm telling you, like, there's situations where I've seen people switch up over $5. Yeah, but here's the thing. $5. Five, that's almost close to a four for four at Wendy's, bro. And they sw people switch up over that. And I know if you watch this video, you've had people do it to you. Because it's deep. And that's why we wanted to talk about money. But what were you saying? So... What if that same dude gave me twenty dollars? Um. Well, no. That's, that's where well, that's, that's where that's friendship where is comes in. That's where you're yeah. making a relationship. You're building a business if that's the case. But if he stops doing that, right, right, right. I don't see money as the, the evil part. No. So I wouldn't see him differently because he didn't give me the money. Right. I would just. But then that's where y'all would be friends. And that's still, where we make. That's how like we got friends now who we can hang out with. And let's say we don't have enough money to go get lunch. You're like, hey, can you pay for my lunch this time and next time I'll get you? Compared to someone who's just like the fifth time going out to eat and they're asking you to pay for their food. But does that you know make the mean? money evil or the person evil? No, that makes, shoot, I honestly think that makes the money evil, bro. I think it makes the Because we shouldn't even be paying to have to eat. Well, you see what I'm see, saying? Now you're changing the no, but that's the whole thing. Like, why if food, everything should really be free if you really think about it. We should be out here all helping each other. Like, if you need sugar one day, yeah. I got sugar for you. You know what I mean? Like Correct. that type deal. But I get what you're saying. Now that I think about it, but it's still like I can't even stress enough like how much. And then even dealing with my child support life, like. You know, I've had people tell me, you know, dang, I wonder if your people is ever, you know what I mean, like, would take you in for money. Because you get inherited money when you're a child supporter. Mm -hmm. So, boom. That's like money, bro. Come play with me. Like, that shit just, like, blows your mind. Like, how is that not? Like, you're ruining someone else, some kid's life. Because you want an extra little paycheck on your extra paycheck. So you can go get your, you know, shoes, sh new shoes or... That PS5, or you know what I mean? Like, I get what you're saying because I've been thinking about it for a minute now. Like, is it the person or is it the money? But it's like at the same time, money should not even be a, like a factor like that. It shouldn't even be the point of like, if we trying to eat, we shouldn't, even, like, you grow stuff in the ground. You don't pay for that. Right well, now you do, but you see what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could get free seeds somehow and grow it and eat it. And you know, that's a whole meal. Like, that's how life should be. And we all cook it up and do it. But somebody, I don't know who god dang did it in dang 1800 BC probably, was like, hey, you owe me three stones and you didn't, you didn't bring them. I've been giving you sugar for the last week. Where are my three stones at? You know what I'm saying? That was like the currency back then. You know, not literally. But I'm just right, making right. it like 18 BC, you know? Right. Or like, yeah. hey, you didn't give me three deerskin jackets when I'm been giving you... Right. Eggs from my out chickens. With goods exchange. Exactly. Services. And it migrates to like money and like, you know, bro, I could go on and on. Anyway, see what I was talking about? How you yeah. could sit there on one thing. And that was just the question of the week. We haven't even started our topic. So, yeah, the question of the week is um, do you believe money is the root of all evil? We kind of got dig, we dig deep in that because we've been talking about that even off camera. Like, we've just been talking about it. Um, so just if you have answers on that, go down, comment down below, message me privately if you want to like talk about it because I'm always open to talk and, and I'm always here if you have anything battling mentally and stuff like that. Don't be afraid to reach out. Rise to Elevate is here to save you. It's like the, the dog. The, um, no need to fear. Captain Underdog. And is Captain here. Underdog <laughs> is here. So again... Money is the root of all evil. Quit playing with me. It is. That's just me. It's not. It's, it's not. It's so not. look, we in the middle. But it's not. Though. We in the middle. <laughs> so anyways, today, if you don't know by now, our topic is money. Um, something some of us love, a bunch of us hate, and others of us just probably don't get it. But it's okay, because you just need that motivation to get it. And once you get it, you'll realize why I'm doing a topic on money. Because money is one powerful thing. 
that could honestly change not just my life, but the whole country if we use it in a positive way, mm -hmm. you know, which we don't, which we use it on dang Kim Kardashian beauty supplies and right. I don't know, just some random stuff that is like makes no sense. I don't know how she's made, like, she's one of the richest people for what? We wouldn't even know. Girls know, but I'm just saying like nobody really knows. Like she just did one little tape and she just blew the whole world up and we're over here idol excuse me idolizing that and not worried about ourselves yeah how does that make sense or we're more worried about will smith getting slapped in chris rock and not worried about ourselves or how we manage our money or how we even look at money you know because a lot of us just think money is like a necessary it is a necessary thing to have don't get me wrong but if you really wanted to achieve the meaning of life in my opinion and happiness you have to really balance money, bro, and teach yourself that money is not what you really think it is. Because a lot of us probably think money is, like, number one priority, like, you know? Yeah. Then it's not. You know it's number one? What's your number one? What number would you one say for me? What would Honestly, you say number one is? This moment right here. Any yeah. moment that I get to spend with my friends is Facts. an amazing moment. Right. Family, the people that I'm closest with in right. this world... That's what is number one what I care more about. Right. And for me, I would say family. Yeah. You know, so th those are, should be the number one things. But people put that money thing there and then they're trying to figure out why their lives are so miserable. And it's because they're more worried about trying to get that car. trying to, Which, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm talking about really making it a priority. Like, if you worry about your family and yourself and your friends, all of the things will come natural. And that's what I've been trying to teach people and they don't... They just don't get it. They don't. They don't but yeah, that's where we are just elaborating on the first topic, which I didn't announce it, but it's depending on money. Because a lot of us depend on money and they think, you know, money is it's the ish. It's the stuff when you pull in with a Gucci belt and some Yeezys and a nice car. But in reality, they go home and they're downing themselves with alcohol and, you know, just not living the true life that was established for them, you know. Yeah. And, and killing themselves mentally. But on the outside, they look good, though, because they got money, right? Right. Right, because they're, they're depending to on achieve it. something that they were exactly. told was the best thing. Right. But then the best always changes, so you can never find that satisfaction in yourself. Right. And then you lose who you are. Right, no, and that's what a lot of people do, man. And I feel like the millionaires, they're the worst, because like, people think they're living the best life there in Cancun, but... While they're in Cancun, they're probably stressing trying to figure out their family's taking money from them. You know, like all these things we do not see, but we're so like, yeah, I wish I was having their money. Or like, you know what I mean? Like some deep stuff that we do not talk about. That's what this YouTube is. It's like an uncensored life thing. No, I'm not on this thing cursing and, you know, blabbering about stuff that I shouldn't be. I'm talking about uncensored life things because we will not talk about this stuff and we're scared, you know? And I've been learning that and people are, they don't want to be around me personally because I do this. I'll sit there and tell you how straight it is. Especially like when it comes to like balance in life. Like I tell, if I feel like you don't know and nobody's told you, I will tell you. And that's where they just don't talk to me ever again. But it's okay because I love every single person I talk to, I encounter with. And it doesn't matter who you are, if we're on best terms or not. The love, it will still always be there. I would never, you know what I mean, despise anybody. But yeah, let's go to the next one, which leads to, Ooh. remember, money and friends. Money and friends. Money and friends. Which one? Friends and money. Money and friends. Friends and Again, money. Money and right. friends. Me and my girl, bro, shout out to my girlfriend, my baby, my soulmate. Um, we've been doing some funny stuff. She'll be like, money and friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an insider. Now that he's looking at me like, what? I know me and my girl, we be vibing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> She gonna laugh when she sees those little moments, man. Yeah, it is a little moments, moments, bro. We be geeking and stuff. But yeah, man, <laughs> I just had to say that because I was geeking. But friends and money is such like a weird like collision, and I wish it never ever happened in my life because I think that like personally, I've lost all my friends to money, and don't mean that in a harsh way. But it's like you know when you're on a mission to get money. There's other people that are trying to get your money, and, and it just doesn't balance out right, you know what right. I mean? 
especially when you're around a bunch of people who know how to get money. Cause, and that's one thing I've done my whole life is if, if I chill with you or any type of aspect, it was dealing with money. But I will never, ever, 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 ever let it control my life to the point where it's like, I can't hang out with you or I won't like share what I have. Um, just, just different moral things, you know what I mean? To tie in with family and I feel or uh, friends and money. And I feel like a lot of people get it twisted because let's say back to what we were saying, how I give you money. Like yeah. if I would give someone money and then I don't give it back, like give it to them the next time. They're like, oh, fuck you or like, you know, I hate you and all this stuff. And it's like, bro, I just don't have the money this time, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I can't give you just, you know what I mean? And like, right. that's something we do not talk about because I've lost a lot of friends and I've had to block people on my friends list because they will just keep asking me for money. And I'm like, bro, I don't even have a job. How am I supposed to be giving away money and I don't even right. have a job? But you're working. Like, and I love every single person, don't get me wrong, but it's like, we have to learn to not put money and friends together, bro. That, that like, that, it, it's like, you know, it's like, what the heck? Did, right. Like, I don't want to lose my friend because they need money and I'm not giving it to them. Like, what? How's yeah. that fair on my end? It's not. It's not, bro. It's you not. But would so, you still do it? What, give money? I mean, I always give money the first time. Like, any of my people, like, not like that. But I'm not just going to give away money. Like, here you go. Like, flipping monopoly. Yeah, so that but I'm just, just saying, like, it's I don't love it. But if it does, and, like... You know, things just don't work out the way I want. And it's like, that's how you lose. You, money made you lose the friend. No, that friend made you lose. But at the same friend. time, the, the objective of all that was the it money. It all started with the You money. know? And like, you would say that some of them are not, like, they, it, it had to be them. But it's like, they were your friends before that. You know? Like, they were really your friends. Like, it doesn't, a bond and shit is always going to be real. It doesn't but matter if it was like. But the person really was. No, right. And that's your, what. And that's why I wanted to talk about this. Cause yeah. it, and not, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. I love this topic. I was excited to talk about this. I woke up and I was like, this is going to be a banger episode. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this one and be like, wow, like I brought a good ass person on my thing. Excuse my language. Um, but it's just like a good vibe. You know what I mean? And we were vibing before, before the video even started. My homie, shout out to my, hey, shout out to my lawnmower dude. Hey, my dog Luke, he cut my grass. I'm scared. I cut the grass. Listen, I cut it. Don't let me get confused. And he weed eated. So, yeah, no. That's Not just really good. Yeah, he just spectated. It was great. But it was fun. We were just, like, watching it through the window, like, and he didn't even notice us. Never I'm going to send him this thing. He gonna be, he's going to be geeky. I like to be able to talk yeah. about my homies and stuff like this in my videos because it gives them more anticipation to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I love that because I want them to know that they're in my life. Like, they help me and who I am to shift to do this. You know what I mean? And flipping, quit playing with me. I got young Deji to sign my... Let's go. These are $100 shirts, bro. Like, what? And he was waving around. There. Talk about money. We talk yeah. about money. Hundred dollar shirts. Listen, background story. Money and friends. This dude is my favorite artist. I just threw him two hundred dollars, thinking I was like, "Dang, this is it!" Like I just lost two hundred dollars to one of my favorite rappers. Like, how? That's a story, you know? Mm -hmm. No, he fulfilled the other end, which is why money and friends is powerful. That makes me and him stronger. Yeah. On his end, he's like, I can trust this random dude I don't even know because he sent me money. That's friends, like. That's how you know, you know? Yeah. And it just, I don't know. Absolutely. It's crazy. You got anything else you want to say about money and friends? I'm done. Oh. I'm done. Dude, I mean, drop you did the say mic. something. It's just like. Drop the mic. It makes me feel like we're not friends. No. Here I am sitting here. No. <laughs> you but know no. what's up. No, definitely. Money is the easiest way to lose friends. No, it is. And I, I totally agree, though, like money when you just love, said a few minutes money, ago. Definitely money. Right. Well, you said how, um, um, you know, how your friend is the one who, like, it's not money, it's your friend. Like, that, yeah. that's deep. We need to, y'all need to rewind back what we were talking about, because that's deep. Um, it's just always a, and this is where, as a human, I'm not trying to go off track, I've learned to not always be right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, right here, I could sit here and be like, no, you're wrong. Like, that's not true. Like, no, like, I'm learning from you. I'm learning your, as like, your interpretation yeah. of it, and you're hearing mine. And then, guess what? We grow together. Because you don't, you don't think that it's not, a, 
as close to the root of all evil. Right. No. I truly definitely. believe that it's the root. Of yeah. All right. Evil. Right. No. And I so, do. So like, it's definitely. Yeah, man. That's it's, great. And that's what makes us different. Everybody's different. We have to just come together and not always like feel like we're always right. You know, we just learn from each other. And that's kind of you know. Yeah. That's how I feel. But anyways, um, let's go to the your topic. My dog over here picked Ooh. a nice little topic. I'll let him out. Do you remember? You want to look at it? Just no, sure. I don't need to look at it. Do you remember? That. No, I, I remember. Which one do you remember? Go ahead. Oh, you man. Pick the one. Pick the it's, one. It's definitely religion. Oh, okay. So you want with the very... Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. It's definitely religion. Right. Okay, so what do you feel like... Why do you feel like religion plays a factor with money? Or what do you feel like money... Why do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we wage, <laughs> we wage wars over it. Huh? We wage wars over it. Yeah. Right. Things that give us money, like power. Right. We attribute it to power. Right. We worship it. We write books about it. Right. We encourage others to achieve it. Right. We hoard it. Right. We obsess over it. Right. To the point where if we don't have it, the whole world collapses. No, it, and which. To sorry to extent it will, you know, because excuse me, god dang. Um, to extent we will, but at the same time, like that's where we have to find the balance in all of us to come together and use the money wisely, not just on dang an oval office table. You heard about that? Well, here's the difference crazy. the world will not collapse, right. the world will continue to go, societies will collapse because it was built on money. Mm -hmm. We built all of we, we know with money, with currency. So it is it is this that we have that will collapse, but not society, not people. We'll move on. You know what, when we run out of money, what do we do? We get resourceful. We find ways to move on and to live. And if we're capable of doing that, then why would we collapse? No, right, I agree. Yeah, right. but it's definitely a religion because everybody views it differently, just like everybody views religion differently. Mm. So, why is money not a religion in and of itself? Mm, okay. It fits all of the things. It brought all of this to fruition. It encourages us to move forward. It can collapse us. It could destroy us. It could do everything for us. So what it's made you think about that? Like what brought you into that like mindset of religion or money? Growing up, constantly struggling. You know, you find ways to survive. Uh, you grow to enjoy personal connections, you know? You grow to have that. Learn to enjoy. Just how to say it. Learn to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have uh, relationships. You didn't build those relationships on money. You built them on being reliable, being there, being able to talk to them. But... With money, it's just like, well, what can you give me? That's the start of your friendship. How can I profit from you? Instead of, how can I support you? How can I be your friend? How can I be close to you? You know, how can I make your world better? How can you make my world better? And then money comes after that. You know, yeah. it's just, we invest our time, which is our money. So we invest our money in our friendships after that. But we built them not because of money. Right. I like that thought too, because a lot of people don't think like that. Like I said, a lot of people just think money is is what they need, and they need to. That's priority, like literally. Yeah. My main priority in their life, like wake up, money, 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 money. Like they don't have no even trans of thought of what you even just said. You know what I'm saying? Because everything comes second. Because it just they don't care. Yeah. Um, but the third, your th your second bullet point was fire too, which is money doesn't control your happiness. Right. Right. But so you when kind you, of how do you feel that. like that? What do you what do you think about that? Well, I mean, honestly, just like I said, like if you take money out of a friendship, do you still have a friendship? Yeah. Are you still happy with your friends? I mean, obviously, your friends, like you're gonna have a good time. So, I didn't need money to be happy. I don't need money to sit here and. Spend my time with you. Right. I need things that money bought, yes. But I don't need money for this moment right now. This is absolutely free. <laughs> hey, people will charge you money to do things. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. Like, we'll, we'll keep going. But yeah, I agree. And I think that a lot of times people will get money and they will think that just because they got an abundance of money, they can fly somewhere and do something that will make you happy, which yes, it probably will. 
but it's oh, like when, when you turn <laughs> right when you turn it into a necess a necess what is it uh, yeah a necessity a necessity then it, that's when it starts to get corrupt like the venom like the spider yeah venom, it just starts to crawl on you and you're just like uh, I gotta go to Cancun. Ooh, I gotta go to <laughs> Maui Waui and all these different places. But yeah, you can travel somewhere maybe an hour from your house and go camping in the woods. Mm -hmm. Pay no money. I would absolutely love to do I love that. It. We gotta go camping yeah, yeah. soon. No, um, I had fun camping. We're going camping in uh, a month away from this week and then uh, in North Carolina. So I'm excited. My girl's going camping in Atlanta. Um, Ooh. You know, just a lot of stuff's happening. I'm excited. I As want you to be. Yeah, I know, right? And that's why a lot of people need to learn how to be more appreciative of what they're achieving, man. Because if you're doing things and you feel like you you can't talk about it and stuff, then you're not in the right environment. It's just, you should always talk about what you are uh, you're doing, even the downfalls, because then you learn from it, and other people learn from you too. So. Um, but I wanted to give a big shout out to you, Michael Wilson, for coming over hey. and hanging out with me and stuff and Not doing this video. Um, oh, it was last it. minute. I called the, our Texas man this morning. I was like, yo, you want to be in the video? He's like, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, immediately, it was just like, oh, yeah, of course. Right. And I was sure. ready for him, too. It was only bound to happen. But my last episode, if y'all elaborate on that, it was actually everything happens for a reason. And everything does happen for a reason because this video feels right. Everything feels right. And if it does not feel like that for me, I do not do it. If I don't feel like it's comfortable and it's not hitting on the dot, I am not doing it. So I just, I'm, I got problems, I guess. You know, I guess well, that's what we do. Sounds doing like you got solutions to those problems too. Yeah, I do. And I'm fixing them after I turn the camera off. <laughs> but it's just... It's what I do. I always try to grow. I try to teach all my friends how to grow. I try to teach my girl how to grow. I just grow like some flowers. Again, shout out to young Deji. He just like made my day from like 100 to 200. When I get off this, I'm going to oh, send him yeah, so no, many videos. so excited. Yeah. Like <laughs> Open up the door. <laughs> ran out the house. <laughs> and I shook the box. I was like, yeah, let's go. Cause I, I've been waiting, man. And, you know, like I said, I thought I was getting scammed. I was like, this is it. That's 200 down the drain, man. You know? And now look. Got him. I'm about to rock the, I'm about to wear the, the lint off them things. That's what I'm about to do. So we're going to end it. Uh, I know y'all want to stay and listen to more and hear me, MW, talk and stuff like that. But we got to go. We're chilling. We got to celebrate, enjoy, um, live life, not think about money and, and necessary. Necess Necessity. Necessity. Like, I got a speech problem. I got to go back no, to school. No, you're good, bro. But it's okay, because shout out to Sativa Plus for keeping me right. They always keeping me right. Um, Y'all need to go check them out. They got a website, sativaplus-plus.com. Um, you know, all that, guys. They got a bunch of CBD products, Delta 8. Um, just different things. A lot of a lot of cool things. Shout out to C4 for keeping me in, keeping me in the loop and rocking with me. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, thank you to everybody today that I, I reached out to to subscribe for the YouTube channel. And I've gotten over like 80, 70 subscribers in one day, dog. That is a big jump, bro. So Man, thank you. Man, yeah, I was shocked. Like, I was at 158. Here, I got my phone. Where's my phone at? No, I don't got my phone. Well, wherever it is. Here, you mind grabbing your phone while we're on the... Oh, my phone's TikTok. Mm. You go to YouTube for me? We're going to do it while we're on live because, once again, thank you guys for real. I love every single one of you guys for just subscribing and being being my family, if anything, because y'all have all reached out to me and told me opinions and what I should, like, different things. So what do we, we're at 211. I was at 158 this morning. I was at 158 this morning. Thank you guys. Seriously, I cannot stress this enough. Like, that means so much. Like, grind mode is on. It's on. So, again, subscribe. Shout out to MW for coming with me. Um, get ready for next week's episode on time. It's going to be dope. I'm already, like, planning things now. Like, this thing is just getting me, like, I'm hungry. Um, stay true to yourself. Remember, the main thing while I'm going to end out is be yourself. Don't be, be nobody else. Please, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Never let anybody tell you your values in life and never tell, let anybody stop you from achieving your goals, no matter what it is. Even if it's getting a physical to play basketball as a kid. Never let things stop you. I'm telling you. I love y'all. I love MW. I love my girl. I love my family. 
and my friends. Peace. Don't let money take your life over. Uh, ooh, swipe. I'm just feeling the high.